1902 Rockwood Mini Light at 3,125 pounds here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. It's small, compact. It's 10 pounds of camper in a five pound sack. That's what this one is right here. Um, it's it, the, the guy next, the guy's laughing at me over here. What, you don't like that? No, I love it. Yeah, you love it. It's 10 pounds of camper in a five pound sack. Yeah, absolutely. Um, anyway, what is this thing? So it's, this is a really highly flexible convertible floor plan. And I've always thought this is just an ideal fit for a little couple's camping like grandpa and grandma or just a, you know, a couple who just maybe occasionally has like a, a child guest with them or you've got a couple little kids and you're looking to get started with a limited tow capacity vehicle because during the day you've got a dinette, everyone can sit down, eat breakfast, have fun. Uh, you've got a front sofa for living space and a handy little well-positioned entertainment center. But at night, above the sofa, you have a flip-down single bunk. The dinette can become a bunk, so there's two sleepers. Now the sofa is a Murphy bed, so there's two more. So it can it can it can sleep for, it can sit for, it can entertain for, all in this tiny little 19-foot box. But one of the ways that it accomplishes that is this is highly unusual in its class. Single axle campers are normally narrow body. They're small. This is not. This is a full eight foot wide body. Um, and that does mean that it will weigh, it weighs about 200 pounds more than a, than a narrow body. But what you get inside for it is tremendous. That, that little bit of extra space makes a huge difference. Now this is five sided laminated. We've got a uh, laminated uh, front wall, fully aluminum frame by the way. Walk on, laminated roof, laminated walls, laminated rear wall. The only thing in this that's not laminated is the floor. They've got um, two by three. Uh, aluminum studs on 12 inch centers running longitudinally, that's this way, um, with a 5 8 tongue groove plywood floor deck. This is built uh, like a luxury fifth wheel floor on a 19 foot ultralight. It's crazy overbuilt, especially considering this little guy right here actually runs on a uh, huck bolted uh, aircraft style chassis. It's made with HSLA steel, high strength, low alloy, Google it, it's awesome. Same type of, like I said, aircraft style. It's kind of the type of chassis, sort of, an aircraft is built on, just adapted for RV use. You can tell because it's got the handy bell uh, sticker right up front there. So, where is this different? Why, why is this so popular? By the way, in history, in, in years past, this was actually called a 1905. Unbeknownst to me, and unbeknownst to the people at Rockwood, they kind of went about this backwards. They make another version of this where it simply does not have the extra bunk over the dinette. That's called now the 1905. This new 1902 is the old 1905, and the new 1905 is a new floor plan. Figure that out. So this video applies to really both the 1902 and the 1905. The only difference is this has a bunk and the 1905 does not. Beyond that, they're the exact, exact same camper. They've got um, higher grade power tongue jacks and awnings than you typically find in smaller campers like this. You know, there's different generations of motors. There's like the 3, 6, 9,000 series. Rockwood uses the faster moving, higher torque ones. They've got full length LED lighting on here. Now, there's some optional stuff present. Like we put the full skin color package on this, that beautiful champagne-ish looking skin color on here. It's actually almost a step back a couple years ago to the emerald package skin. It's somewhere in between champagne and taupe. It's cool looking though. It's got a great outdoors feel. And they're even kind of calling back to, I don't know, 2012, 13 ish with these graphics with the, the pretty little cursive L I T E, except kids nowadays won't be able to read it because apparently we don't teach cursive in school anymore, which I'm not trying to start a debate. I'm just commenting. Anyway, tangents, moving on. Um, extremely highly appointed little camper. Like we've got an outside utility shower with hot and cold water, not just a cold water sprayer. We've got those beautiful frameless bonded windows and they, they are obviously heavily UV tinted. We'll see outside no problem, but you can't see in this thing uh, from out here. But it also hides the seals under the window pane so that they're protected from the weather. Black tank flush. And notice that all your hookups, they're on the correct side of the camper, what I call the correct side anyway. Um, but I think most people who actually go camping are going to agree with me on that. And they're all kind of basically in the same spot. Of course, it's a big, not a big trailer. It couldn't be too far out of whack. Full, I mentioned that full walk-on roof. That's why they've got a ladder back here. And you can see that big black fin sticking up like a Tiburon. That's a shark, people. And this little shark right here, she's uh, she's circling around waiting to strike. Um, the back to, 
<laughs> another tangent. I gotta quit. Uh, the big black fin up here. That's a uh, Max Air vent cover back in the bathroom. This has the bigger fan to get better airflow and so the little differences like that that I see that Rockwoods have compared to the other lightweights here at Halid RV. Don't get me wrong. Every trailer is cool in different ways. This just has the most equipment in a small package. I wasn't joking. It's small, compact, 10 pounds of camper in a five pound sack. I'm gonna get you repeating that. By the time this is done, I'm gonna get you guys saying it. It's gonna be like a mantra to you. Anyway, what does that mean though? It might mean this Rockwood is slightly, not much, but slightly heavier, not enough to really matter. It might mean it's slightly more money, but you're getting more equipment. So it's really just a matter of how many peanuts do you want in your ice cream? You want peanuts and sprinkles? Do you want just sprinkles? Do you want peanuts only? This is the one with peanuts and sprinkles. Actually, now that I say that out loud, that's a gross combination, but you get the point. This is the ice cream with the most toppings. Now, the 1905 won't have the double windows like this. This is set up that way because of the bunks. Remember, the 1902 is the bunk over the dinette model, so you get a second window. But notice you get a second window. You get more light and illumination in here. Um, we have added the outside grill to this, which is why you see that little shelf, and there's your handy box for the grill. It's not open and set up because this literally just got off the delivery truck. Um, if you add the uh, HD TV to this. It can float between inside and outside with these matching mounts right here. So this actually has outside TV and grill hookups. It's kind of a pretend outside kitchen. Um, they really couldn't have put a much bigger power awning on this. And you look and you say, well, they could have made it like nine inches bigger over here. Doesn't work that way. They buy the awning and the awning manufacturer makes them in certain size segments. So Rockwood buys the biggest awning that can fit on the side of this thing. Um, I like that it also easily, easily covers the outdoor entertainment hookups and the big door here. Now you see this little sticker here. This is new at the time of this filming. Uh, that's equipped with the Wi-Fi Ranger. Well, what is that? I've done a video separately on that. If you're kind of curious, search our channel. Give our guys a call. We can email you a link to it. But long story short, this camper has its own built-in router. So it's, it's like a local access point and in a sense a range extender and signal booster um, for to be able to hook up to park Wi-Fi or you can get one of those little um, like cell phone uh, USB air cards to hook up into this. So this is really the spot that makes this different from the 1905. This is the 1902. Now don't get your head screwed up by the fact that I got the ladder hooked up here. That is not where it's going to stay when you're at the dinette. I left it there just simply so I wouldn't forget to talk about the fact that Rockwood actually still uh, equips their RVs with a ladder for overhead bunks. Most manufacturers don't. I've heard them uh, cite liability reasons, but I'm going to estimate it's probably mostly due to cost. But again, this is the extra stuff Rockwood does for you that the other brands don't. Those extra little things. So you can see, obviously, the bunk folds up during the day. So it's out of the way. And if you don't care, it's a bunk. It's it's just extra little stuff stored. It's great for linens and soft things. Um, down below, because the dinette is located right next to the wheel well, they didn't go with a double leg table. So it does actually attach to the side of the trailer. And then you've got the single leg stick out on this side. Very classic style. And... There are different decors available. This is called Mocha. At the time, this kind of replaces Winston, which was extremely popular recently. And this is more similar than it's not. But there's a key difference here. This looks like leatherette. It's actually called microfiber. It has the look of leatherette, but it breathes like cloth. So the back of your legs when you're wearing shorts don't get sticky and sweaty. Very cool stuff. You're going to start to watch microfiber um, penetrate the luxury fifth wheel markets. But... Here you go, Rockwood's doing it first, and they're doing it at a way, way smaller camper and price point than these big fifth wheels. Now, when you look around here, you'll start to see stuff like you've got full extension drawers right here under the dinette. If you lift up the dinette booth and seating and whatnot, you can see that even this is aluminum skeleton. I mean, they, they hand build as much aluminum structure in this as is really possible. Now this has, uh, at the time of this filming, Rockwood just updated their Murphy beds. At a glance, you're like, what do you mean? I've seen this show before. I know exactly what I'm getting into. Tiny difference. Um, they added a handy little um, pull here, which just makes life a lot easier. But they added a lock so that when you fold down this Murphy bed, and keep in mind, for those who are not familiar with Rockwoods or Murphy beds, you can set this thing up and tear it down with one hand literally in seconds. And I'm not left-handed, so there you have it. So you're looking at it, you're like, what's changed? And the answer is, there's a lock. 
That's what this little guy is down here. You can't lift it now. It's locked in the down position. It was never a problem Rockwood had, but a different manufacturer is having issues where people would sit up at the head of the Murphy bed and it would buckle and it would tilt and it would dump them and lock them behind the bed where they couldn't get out. Rockwood never had that issue, to my knowledge. Man, we've been selling these things like crazy since like 2010-11 when Rockwood first came out with them. We've never had that issue. But, you know, it is theoretically possible. So now you don't even have that problem. But I guarantee this year a lot of dealers are going to have a lot of broken Murphy beds on their lots. Because people aren't going to know where to, what to do with these things. And again, one-handed lifted that up because it has these dual struts that help you lift it. They have these crazy powerful overstrength struts to help you lift and make this easy. Now, even with one hand, you lift here, hold it with your hip, reach behind, and pull in, and draw, down she goes. That's it. So even with me talking, actual setup and teardown time of that bed was what, maybe? Maybe 10 seconds if I'm being generous. And because Rockwood actually uh, has a one piece fixed Murphy bed, not a, not a mattress that's actually a bifold, you know, the whole bed flips up and down, that means you don't have to make the bed every night. That's kind of the cool Rockwood advantage. And learning the differences between different styles of Murphy beds, because the other Murphy beds have their advantages too. That's why you contact Taylor RV, because we carry different examples of different things, whether it's different Murphy beds, different brands. We can help you learn the differences between products. But obviously, we believe in this thing. We stock it. This is a true standout product. I like the fact that both sides of the bed still have big stands. There are some outlets by the headboard for CPAP users and phone chargers. You got normal bedroom closets on both sides here. And they're all hardwood cabinet doors. You can bang all over this thing. This has laminated roof, laminated walls, like I said before. It's built, as Bob Seeger would say, well. You were, you were thinking I was going to say like a rock, but that would have been too predictable. So anyway, let me uh, sit down here. So when you're sitting down at the sofa, if you choose to add entertainment to this little model, or if the one that we have in stock actually has it added, this one appears not to, you'd put a little TV right here. And you could put on a flat mount, a swing arm, whatever. I think a nice little 45 degree swing arm mount would be great. You just don't want to block the door too much for people coming and going. But you've got a handy little shelf right here. Look, at you got your USB plugs, you got a phone charger right there. And you can sync that via Bluetooth to that stereo unit. And there's a free app, the IRV app you can get on your phone that you can wirelessly control that via Bluetooth on your phone. Your phone becomes a remote control. So as long as you're already streaming music off Pandora or Spotify or whatever, shazam, you can use that right there. Um, interior lights. This is a nice little touch, a little camper, but all the lights, all your main lights are on one switch, which is great. They're all LED. So they're cooler, they're brighter, and they last a lot longer without dinging your battery. Now, small camper, huge air conditioner. Same 13,500 BTU AC that you get on a big Rockwood here on a little Rockwood. And really, the consistency is kind of the message of the day with this. That's one of the things I like about them here at Halitz. They are consistent. This is built exactly like a big Rockwood fifth wheel just in a smaller package. Same roof structure, same wall methodology, same floor construction, just smaller. They don't build better, they just build big or small, that's it. Now as we flip around here, normally this little guy would not have a whole lot in the way of prep space. And don't get me wrong, it's not a rear kitchen luxury fifth wheel with like 25 square foot of uh, prep space, but by going to the recessed stove top and by including a sink cover, you actually have a little bit of space to do some work here. They've got storage below. You've got a nice handy drawer there. The tiny little sponge drawer, which is really good for swearing at. <laughs> and uh, an overhead door here in the ki kitchen. Now, this is about the size of the microwave, which is great. But notice that it's self-supporting. They double strut these. Spend a little extra money to make it easier. This way, you're not holding the cabinet door open with your head and you're trying to reach in here and do this. You don't have any of that problem. And hopefully you don't have any of this problem here. Um, over here, there is an option to put a bigger refrigerator in it. However, you lose all of this. And the smaller the camper, the more important we feel storage is, and we really didn't want to do that. This is actually a nice easy place you can reach around here and you can feel how this is pocket screwed together. They're screwed together, um, you know, <laughs> they're screwed and tattooed, not stable. Thank you, Gristle McThorn Body, for that. Um, five cubic foot fridge and freezer. And that's the thing. If you sacrifice that big pocket of storage above, you only go up to a six cubic foot fridge and freezer. It's not real big. And the fridge part is actually just about the same size. This just has a little smaller freezer. This is still enough to get you through a weekend though. Um, the door is slotted up here. Not because they don't know how to measure. 
they're very good with a measuring tape at Rockwood. It's because they include the bigger Max Air whole house ventilation fan system. So if you open your, say, headboard windows up there, you can get turn this on and get a six mile an hour breeze constantly recycling air in the camper. This will recycle the air in this little trailer like four times an hour, maybe more. I, haven't, I don't have the measurements, but probably around there. Um, you've got huge storage back here too, because this storage actually, if you watch, it wraps around. So that's pure unadulterated storage. Again, they didn't skimp down to go to flat panel doors. Everything is the raised panel, heavier duty hardwood. Looks nicer, going to last you a little bit longer. Um, you know, the uh, leg room, plenty of leg room here in front of the toilet. They did a good job of that by pushing the sink and everything out of the way. And we have protective shower wall surround paneling instead of just normal wall paneling. There are actually advantages both ways. We've done a video on that too, if you'd like to learn about it. Again, give our team here at Halid RV a call and we can forward you that link or you can look it up on our YouTube channel either way. And a big skylight. Now you may notice this has a vaulted ceiling. I'm not using a trick camera. You see how it's thinner over here and gets thicker over there? This has a two and a half inch vault on the ceiling, which is really the most you can do on a laminated ceiling. And that really just helps it open up and breathe a little bit in here. So again, very functional, very convertible, multi-purpose floor plan. It's been great for first timers. It's been great for last timers. And I, I think I've ever seen one of these on the market used once at our dealership. When people get something like this, it can last them so long and do so many things, they just don't ever want to get rid of it, you know? And when they're done with it, their kids are always like, Mom, Dad, can I have that camper? You know, it's one of those type of things. Rockwood is retirement level. That's that's what we're looking at here. So just remember, the 1902 is the one with the bunk. The 1905 is the one without. Other than that, same camper. So um, give us a call. You know, we look forward to meeting you. We only do everything here at Halet RV. So whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, uh, truck and trailer package deals, or everything in between, all we need is the opportunity to work with you and earn your business. And with that, uh, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.